So my name is Olivier Haas. I'm a reader in Applied Control Systems. And uh, I'm basically coordinating the research dealing with medical application within the Control Theory Application Center. We started working in, this, uh, in applying control to radiotherapy about 20 years ago. And this was the main novelty on, of the work. Uh, before this type of problem had been uh, dealt with by medical physicists, oncologists, but never control engineers. And we think about it as a control problem where we need to achieve a given prescription for the patients, deliver the treatment at a given location. How are we going to achieve it? What type of control are we going to do? We've started working with the hospital in Coventry uh, about 20 years ago now. Um, and the work evolved from first planning uh, treatments into designing new equipments to make use of, of the best possible plans. The Total Skin Electron Betatron unit was developed in collaboration with a number of groups, including Coventry University. And it was designed to treat patients with a very specific skin cancer, mycosis fungoides. And the idea is we're trying to cover the patient with a uniform dose of electron beams and the specific advantage of the Betatron unit is the compact Betatron unit can be uh, translated across the patient so we have a very uniform dose distribution from head to toe and we're able to do this by mounting the, the compact Betatron on a gantry and controlling the dose we give to the patient by varying the speed and that's part of the collaboration that we have with the university in developing that control system to deliver the correct dose to the patient. Since 2004, the machine has been operational. Um, when the new hospital site was created, the machine moved to this new site, uh, demonstrating that the clinicians felt it was really useful. And it is still now in operation. Patients are referred to Coventry from all over England due to the unique capabilities of this machine, which is to be able to treat patients lying down comfortably for fairly long treatment time duration. In the last five years, we've also developed some equipment to evaluate the behavior of existing equipment in terms of accuracy, mechanical accuracy, um, dosimetric accuracy. And we've developed what we call a phantom. A phantom is a robotic device uh, which aims to mimic a part of the human body uh, onto which we would apply radiation as if it were a real patient, but safely because it's only a robot and we can assess very accurately what the treatment is doing. So we started working with a manufacturer which is called Electa. It's the second manufacturer in the world of radiotherapy equipment. And with them, we had a, a KTP or TCS uh, project funded by the government to look at how we could improve the control of their devices. And in particular, what they call patient support system, which is a robotic device where the patient is located uh, during the treatment. And so we've helped them improve the existing control system. The way our new control system work for the patient support system was to move in opposite direction than the organ motion detected uh, in the patient. Uh, and like this we could immobilize the target with respect to the beam and therefore reduce the dose to the healthy tissues and, inc and increase potentially the dose to the target. In terms of outcomes, so we've developed with the hospitals in Coventry a new skin cancer treatment machine which has been treating patients and so the outcome is really in terms of health and well-being of these patients and so the clinical outcome were considered to be very good. In terms of applying control to the field of radiotherapy, we've had a fairly significant impact with our colleagues at the hospital We've adopted a kind of methodology and then research, uh, research ethos to their problems. Companies such as Electa that we have worked with have since in increased the amount of control used within the company and also they've applied and adopted the tools, the software tools we introduced them to. And to date, the clinical outcomes have been satisfactory, which has been great news. Thank <laughs> you.